Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? Well, I have two reasons for this. One, I've been busy with a lot of uh, coping on like school because school is kind of a mean place, obviously. And one for that reason, it's just because I haven't been in it for a while. I'm looking to go, go forward for another school and put to graduate and stuff. But two, it's because I have stumbled on a recent opinion and also question that in one of my messages, I've seen someone, and I'm not gonna call them out obviously, but they've asked me a very important question. What happened to the object shows, animations and stuff? What happened to you being the OSC? What happened to a lot of your other communities that you were in? Well, I'm here to answer those questions. Because even though a lot of people haven't said that, obviously, I still kind of wanted to point it out. So, the re how I started like the OSC was that I saw a lot of um, like the light of BFB uh, like styled optic shows and I wanted to be a part of that it's so badly and the thing about that is I gained most of my friends back then day off of Lucky Rabbit Lego Matt Nick Animations uh, like Ruben Bros sometimes and uh, Cray Animations and even Snowy. We were really good friends. But the thing about me back then is that I was terrible at animating. I really was not good at animating. Like, it was my first time at Clip Clip. Not the best animating software, but still, I was just not good. It was really hard to constrain my time for school and homework and like trying to just go back home and animate for endless hours only to make it look like dog shit. Just very poor quality. Cause hell, my FPS literally went from six and terrible assets, terrible host, to characters that barely made any sense and you couldn't even tell what they were. It was a mess. But we still had fun doing all the projects that we were doing back then in the day. And even the voice acting was very one-sided, we still had fun trying to record ourselves for it, for the lines we did. But either way, there's something to be said. I, myself, was like a very t not so good person back then. I was a really hissy fit, piss baby freaking child back then that was kind of a hypocrite. And back then, uh, I was like very needy and stuff. And yeah, it just kind of led to my downfall, honestly. But the thing about that is that when I first completed that animation, I tried to go for more, but it didn't really work out because one, I switched to a new iPad. So all of the files brought like, uh, like in head of that were just deleted. So I couldn't really bring anything back. So I tried going for a new object show with more quality. It was more quality than you expect. But the thing about that was is that I was very busy at the time and I just couldn't animate. I tried pilot after pilot after pilot. It just wasn't really working. So when I became just a viewer or just a voice actor, I should say, I was very happy. But the thing about this is that that's when I, and also a lot of the hypocritical people out there and just drama started spreading the OSD for like literally no reason. It started exploding into that. Yeah, it wasn't well. Me, Sturgill, freaking Hatman, and like some others, I should say, were really getting to the beef. And I was one of the people, well, mostly just because I was kind of a jerk back then. I took things really sensitively because when they had jokes spitting out of their mouths, I couldn't tell if it was serious or not. So I couldn't really say anything. But the thing about that was that it's mostly okay right now. Uh, but like, back then, it was really rough. I couldn't tell the difference between anything. I was just very sensitive back then. And I was just 
yeah, I was kind of rude. So when I left a certain community in Dominic Show, a community, I just kind of was a little depressed about that. And altogether, I kind of left. And now you may be wondering, but Clay Sparks or even Nowlin Productions, how do you mess up that bad? And also delete your animations off of YouTube and everything else other to that point. And to that, I have to say, it's for good reason. One, the animations were really done shitty. Like, they weren't quality at all. Two, it's because I want to focus on more content back then and do things I actually like, because animating was not one of them anymore. And three, it's just because... Like, it put so much time and work into, like, making something that it wasn't really worth it. And I kind of suck at anim animating anyway, so it didn't really matter. But I'm not, like, the best editor right now. Obviously, my channel's not going to get any big. But the thing about that is kind of hurts a little. And not for the reason you expect. Because now my, my views are either going to 32 or 600 at most. Back then either 2,000 or even 3,000 I'm back or you depending on so my content kind of fell off and so me as a person in the object community so that's why I kind of quit now I still have in touch with some of my friends but we're not really on that many good terms but what I can say is that past me was actually such a bitch but I've grown and matured greatly from that because I actually know how, like, if you just see something bad about yourself in the past, you can definitely improve on it, and it's never too late. But, man, to leave a chip on your shoulder sometimes, so you just remember that, was I really like this? And the other thing about being this is because I was personally a really big fan of just everything in the Object Show community. But the thing about this is that I had some really constructive criticism back then. And they weren't exactly the best because I wasn't any better. But they at least took my word. I still tried to help. In fact, I was still part of the fans of, of themselves trying to help either. But like, the thing about that was I just kind of didn't know how to do it myself. So I was kind of a hypocrite myself too back then. But now I'm on the path of becoming a better person and going for a different community. Who knows? Maybe I might join back, but that's never going to happen, obviously in my eyes at least so there's a lot to be said here those animations or anything that was lead on my channel will probably never be archived and the thing about my friends is that we never may talk again and the thing about everything else relating to that it was just not really worth uh staying in i think even though my community right now is obviously not the best, uh, I still think it was a lot more matured up to that point. And the other thing about this is that I also delete those animations so I can start new content. And I did. It was more fun than I expected. And the thing about this is that I found a new passion. Smash. So, you may be wondering, well, why can't you just keep the videos even though you're going to do new content? Because I want to be known for that. I want to be known for some object show creator that kind of flopped and also wasn't a really good person back then. I kind of want to start fresh and start new. It was pretty good. I did uh, transition pretty well. And a lot of this is carefree, worry less. So I was pretty happy. And if you're wondering where I am right now, I'm pretty fine. And for this, I think that this is a pretty good note to leave off on. So if you're wondering where I've been, I think for those past people in, in this channel that has been sticking around for long, this is where I've been. Anyways, yeah, it's kind of how it all started and how a lot of longtime fans of the channel understand now. Anyways, thank you for tuning in for my message. I'm Cody Sparks. Please just consider my content as just trying to change and be someone new. And I'll tune in next time. 
So thank you for listening.